Easy people, uh, obviously, I've, well, it's not obvious, but now it is. I've got no headphones on for this one because uh, I don't need it. This one should be really quick. And uh, this one's about basically drum kits and key groups, but it's just the basics uh, for anybody out there. This is not probably the definitive way of doing this. This is just something I've discovered, and I always like efficiency in getting things quickly done so what i'm wanting to do is i'm wanting to show you how you make your own kits the easy way well what i believe the easy way first of all don't start with a blank kit because you can i could show you how to make it from blank but there's no point so i'm going to show you the easy way load any kit it doesn't really matter what the kit is so i've loaded that kit i oh, two things i always say is go to screen knobs and then screen so you've got all your your um, controls there and then i'm going to press no so i've got all my kit but i've got sounds in them kits so all i have to do is go menu um and then the little folder thing and then purge and i want to purge all samples so now i've purged all those samples You've seen the lights have gone dull, but they haven't gone off. And what that means now is if I load any sounds into that, I've already got the colors. So I don't have to worry about going into here, edit and editing colors because I've already got them as a kit. So <laughs> that's it. So let's say, right, I'm going to make a kit, kit now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to samples. I'm going to use the search thing. Saves me the bother of typing and I'm going to look for a kick. So I'm going to load the kick there. How do I know where it's going to go? Because whatever one I select, it lights up. So whatever I load there, whatever I load is going to go into there. So I can go through. And I say, uh, yeah, I like that kick. That's one. So I'll go here. Now I'm going to add a snare. So I'll go here and I'll search for snare. So I don't even have to type snare in. Right. I like that one. All right, there. Um, a high hat so go here again search hats right closed hats right that i like that that's a closed hat right and i want an open hat so I'll just go down to see open right open hat oh well i've just gone over the one that i did so undo that okay i'll go to here and i'll make an open hat this one that's open hat so now I've got so now if i press shift clip I can go in there and I can have a look and maybe it's already got some group settings. So that's even, look at that. Save me a load of bother. Look at that. Because I loaded up a kit what's already done, I've got a mute group. So I've got automatic um, open and closed hi-hats. Just in case anybody doesn't know what a mute group is. Mute group means that the, each sound what's in that group cuts the other sound off. So if I take this out of the mute group, watch. I can press both at the same time, but you don't want them to have that because a proper drum kit, right? It can only have two positions open or closed on the hi hat. So whenever I'm playing this, and then and it's tight as sound. So that's how I got that. Now let's say, just for the sake of argument, I want to make a piano. Again, the easiest way to do that, I'll choose a sound. I'll, I'll do here. Say that load, right? And then I, I want to try and find a piano sound. So um, this is going to show me all the samples with the word piano on it. Do it. But I just want one note. So let's see. Is there a note? No. Right. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to do that. Right. The the. the is not what I want to use. Then all I have to do to make a key group is shift, edit, and press this. And I've automatically made a key group now. And then all I have to do is shift clip, go into samples, bring that down. I've got myself a quick piano. It's not the best piano. But you can work on it from there so for anybody who's wanted to know well how do I set up a key group there it is and this key group is obviously high as hell 
And if I go lower, it should be there. So that's that, really. Um, if I wanted to, right, let's say just for the sake of it, because I really do want to make this quick, I'm going to get this all under 10 minutes, hopefully. Um, let's say I say I've got that, but for some reason, I want by the time it gets to another point, I don't know, I don't know where, it gets to somewhere else, it's going to be another sound playing on this drum group thing. So what I would do is, this is a key group, so that's key group one. Uh, right, so I'm going to use this key group one, and then I'm going to go and get another key group, so this is key group two. And if I load the sound into that, then there should be two sounds playing. So let's um let's see let's make double make sure we've got our pad okay right that's that um master right key group two so uh, what I'm gonna do I sh I don't want to even go this deep but I'm here now so what would be nice is that if you could press these and they don't automatically change. Because I've, I've got a feeling this is C1. And that's a good question. Um, what I've just thought to myself. I don't know how I can tell how low that is. The only way I know is by moving this until I see it stop. Oh, wait a second. I'm on Creed Group 2. So if I keep going, this should cut off sooner or later. There you go. It's not the greatest way. So now if I go down, yeah. Again, not the greatest way uh, that this could work, but that's how it works. So let's say we're going C, C2 to C3. So this is going to go from here. So it's going to go C2 to C3. So this is going to go C2 to C3. And then nothing else plays. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load in another sound, but I'm going to go back the easy way and take this sound and load something else in. So, so let's have that right. Um, so that's in there, and so that's trap piano. So if I go back to here, I didn't have to do that, but it's the way I I do it. I'll go to trap piano, shift clip. And I want to get to that sample and I want trap piano so let's go here trap piano right so so I want I want from here going up to be the trap piano and I want that to be the the uh, the other piano so I'm going from C free and this is where i should i should have stopped because i can see how this could get mad confusing i'm uh, but i'm sure I, I, man i've gone past the basics now i didn't mean to go past the basics but i have i hope uh, hopefully somebody out here understands what's happening and if i've done this right what should happen is i should have piano on here and then Oh, it's E, it's, um, what's after C, C sharp, in it? Oh, stupid man. So it's, uh, D, D, in it. D. Is that right? Right. So the lowest is... Oh, this is kit one. See how see how this can get really confusing. That should be D. So if I go D one there, then that's right. And then it starts there. So you can see now key group one of this section is a piano sample. Right? Is this piano sample? I didn't have to use the, the drum kit. I just did for me, so I know where I am and what I'm loading in, because then I can look at the names. I could have just loaded it directly into the pool. It would be nice if somehow you could separate bits 
of a pool. I don't know how complicated that would be to do. But anyway, I digress. So, this is... The whole group is a key group, the whole thing. Then the number of key groups in that you can have is, I don't know, 128, I think. No reason why you would have that. Ah, oh, damn, I'm past 10 minutes. So, anyway... Look at the first part. The first part was the important part. This was just something else what I was showing you and how you can have more than one sound on one key group. And how I did that is that's key group one is um, from C2 to C3. And then key group two, two was from C3 to C4. So that's why you can hear that sound there. And then you can hear that after that up until there because I didn't put anything further than that so you could kind of build key groups I could have had that as layers so that could layer it could go across so you can get really sophisticated I wouldn't do that because I would rather just get a piano sound do that because I'm about making music not really getting all fancy because at the end of the day nobody's going to care if I don't like the song so you could spend 20 years making a sound and then nobody really likes the tune so it's more about get to the point all right i've gone way past what i ended tended to do i hope this has been helpful and i'll catch you again as i always say peace